table. Now, Unicorn Scan is a Linux, is, is just for Linux OS. And what I've done here is I've done a Unicorn Scan dash H. So we can look through some of the commands here. It's just amazing what can be done here. Here we can set the source port. You can do some delay time so you can change the, the, the delay type so that uh, you're less likely to, um, uh, to get uh, caught. You can see here, here's, you can try fragmenting, you can do payload groups, of course the dash H is for help, your interface name, whichever interface you want to make use of, here's, uh, you can run this immediate mode, display things as we find them rather than waiting to the end and giving all of that information. I'm just scrolling down, you can create a log file, uh, to write file not on my terminal, interesting huh, so you can work together with your neighbors. Here's your minus M, which is your mode, dash dash mode. Uh, you can have a scan mode, uh, TCP scan is default, U for UDP, uh, SF for TCP connect scan, and in capital A for ARP. So you can have many different types. Uh, you notice here that it's uh, for MT, you can also specify TCP flags following it, like SF for the connect scan, uh, and U for UDP, for example, so it's very good here. That would send a TCP SYN packets with no SYN. Okay, uh, fin and no push and an urgent. Very interesting, huh? I thought that was a UDP, but it was an urgent. I, f I forgot about that. As we're talking about flags, not the actual protocol itself. My bad. So here you go. There's a dash P for you can setting the ports. Of course, you can uh, don't use output to the screen. Go somewhere else. Make it nice and quiet. Uh, not nor normally needed when you're doing, doing things in this, this fashion. Um, you can tell it not to shuffle the ports. Don't say open or closed. So anyways, let's just see how well this thing works and functions. Let's just do a simple unicorn scan. Now in this case, we're going to do a unicorn scan. Um, let's do the minus M capital T for TCP, even though it would do that by default. We'll hit enter, and now it's doing a standard uh, TCP scan, uh, SYN scan, remember, the T, capital T is a SYN scan, uh, and it's uh, performing it on that same one. So here's all the ports that were open. Boom, popped in, no big deal, didn't take all that long, and here we have the ports that are open. Now, let's take a look at this uh, with the U, UDP as well. Instead of the capital T, let's do a capital U. We'll do a UDP scan and see what we find with a specific UDP scan. Remember, we can set ports as well. Do some additional timing with that. So we found two UDP ports, 53 and 137. Now you notice we found three with SuperScan. Why is the difference? The difference is, is you have to take a look at what ports are actually scanned. Sc Unicorn Scan does have a uh, file that is utilized that has the default ports that it scans. If you want to scan additional ports, you need to actually uh, specify which ports to scan. You notice that it says up here uh, port ranges are like 1 through 4096 with 53 uh, only scanning one port. A for all 65,000 and P for 1 through 1024. So this is going through the different settings for the specific types of, uh, of ports that you want to make use of. So many different ways and it does have verbose as well. Uh, you can attempt to do some OS fingerprinting. What you're doing here is you're telling it that you believe it's a Cisco uh, device or something of that nature. So in this case, it's, it's doing that. You can set the W uh, to be a number two for a Windows XP, uh, so on and so forth. So that is a, the very basics of Unicorn Scan. You need to take the time uh, to spend a little bit of time utilizing this so it can be a good secondary tool for you.